Welcome back to the Gun Guy Radio Product Spotlight, and we have a correspondent, uh, Paul Levy from Brownells on the line. Hey, Paul. Hey, Jake. How's it going? It's going great. So we're talking about uh, AAC a little bit here, Advanced Armament Corporation. Yeah, I wanted to touch on a, a few of their products, not just anything specifically, because everything they produce, it all kind of works together in a, a nice, happy system. Um, first, I'd like to touch on... Uh, their muzzle devices. Um, this is what they've been well known for for quite some time in conjunction with their suppressors. Um, but this is probably one that they're fairly well known for, and that's the uh, the blackout flash hider. Um, and it's it's basically a very effective flash hider. Uh, long prongs to dissipate that that uh, unburnt powder, um, and it's it's just quite effective. A lot of guys, not even intending to put a suppressor on their firearm, will purchase this just because it's so. You, Effective and plus because it looks pretty cool. That's right. <laughs> I gotta say that's right. probably why they sell a lot of their products is they look pretty cool. For sure. Uh, this one here is used in conjunction with the 51 tooth uh, mount. So this they have uh, specific suppressors that fit uh, a given ratchet system. So this can have a suppressor mounted. They also sell these without the suppressor mount. This is what you see at the rear of this here. Um, and then they also sell. We also have the complete upper receivers. This is a 300 blackout upper receiver. Um, the newer version doesn't have the rails all the way. Uh, the interesting thing they're, inter they're implementing is they use Knight's Armament uh, URX handguards. So very nice handguards, a nice monolithic system on them. Um, and then they use their 300 blackout barrels or their, their AAC branded uh, barrels. Um, really nice upper receivers. Um, and since they're basically controlling all the components, the ammunition design, it turns out to be a pretty neat little package. Uh, this is the 16-inch barreled version here, um, but they also sell a 12 and a half inch and then a 9 and a half inch. Which, if you're going to put a, a suppressor on your gun, uh, you want it as, as short as possible. Uh, that's that's probably the way to go. So really pretty cool. Um, the blackout, you, it's a great flash hider. It's known as one of the best ones on the market. Um, oh, on those same lines, we have their muzzle brake, which features the same attachment system. Um, it's just, of course, a break. <laughs> As you can see, large baffles there, um, a sure sign of any effective uh, muzzle brake. This one here is in uh, 30 caliber. I should have mentioned that before. Uh, they're available in a lot of different calibers, uh, 223, uh, 308, 338. Um, so really to mount up to whatever uh, system you're running. Uh, this one here I got mounted on my uh, 308. Um, I actually haven't shot it yet. I'm looking pretty forward to... Well, I haven't shot it on this gun yet. Uh, I'm looking forward to that anyways. Um, and again, this one is set up for suppressor use. This is the 51 tooth. Uh, they do have some previous generation uh, attachments that take an 18. And they do have some new uh, mounts coming up that take a... Uh, I believe it's a 90 or 91 tooth uh, just to really make sure you got a solid attachment for your suppressor. Um, and on the suppressors... Uh, I have some inert ones here. Unfortunately, they're, they're inert. Uh, Brownells will be carrying AAC suppressors here this summer, so you can look forward to that. Uh, so if you're awesome. looking for one, see it on our site. Talk to your local SOT dealer. Say, I want to order that from Brownells. Uh, we'll get in touch with your dealer, and we'll get you taken care of for uh, whatever suppressor you want to purchase. Um, this one here, this is a uh, 762 SDN. Um, and this will thread on to any uh, 51 tooth uh, AAC flash hider or muzzle brake. Uh, this works with the flash hider or muzzle brake, which is pretty cool. So you can choose, well, I got a flash hider on my 300 blackouts, on my 308. Uh, I want a brake just due to the stiffer recoil. Um, and the attachment system is really pretty cool and ingenious. Uh, like I mentioned before, the ratchet system, uh, you'll just place the suppressor on. Screw it down. There. It's locked on. That's all you got to do. Oh, it's pretty slick. Yeah. Yeah. So there it's secure. You can shoot away. Uh, the nice thing with the muzzle brake is that acts as an extra set of baffles uh, just to give some more longevity to your suppressor, um, which is a really nice system Really nice system for the higher, higher pressure uh, guns. Uh, and then to remove it, you'll see this latch here. You just depress that. 
and then unscrew. So really, if you don't want to be patrolling or you don't want to be walking around with the suppressor attached, because it does make a little bit longer rifle or, or, a, or a firearm, uh, you can just have this on your person, then when you want to go suppressed, get it out, and then screw it on real quick. Really a pretty ingenious system. Uh, that's the 762 SDN. We are going to carry a wide range of suppressors uh, for the pistol, uh, the Tyrants, um, and then for up to 338, we're going to have suppressors for. We already have the muzzle devices for those, so if you're looking uh, to get set up now, you can purchase the muzzle brake or device now and then get the suppressor down the road. Um, some other suppressors of note. We got the uh, the Mini Four here, which see the how how large that is. It's it's uh, pretty tiny, um, and this is intended to be as compact as possible uh, a suppressor while still being effective. Uh, so you can have this on your entry gun entry gun without having a a 40 inch rifle. Um, and again, this attaches just in the same method as the uh, as the other version. It'll just uh, screw on like so. There, it's secured. So, Perfect. really, and, and you see this this will interface with anything. This is actually a 30 cal blackout, but the diameters are all the same. So, what a lot of guys do is they'll have a 556, a 300 blackout, a 308, but they don't want to buy three different suppressors. They'll buy a 30 cal suppressor and then use it on all guns, all three guns. Uh, because 556 does pass through this, it's just not going to be as quiet. So that's a nice uh, little feature uh, for those. Um, and then outside of those uh, ratchet attached systems, they've also got direct attach. Which here's a uh, here's a 30 caliber uh, is it a cyclone? I still got to get all these names down. Uh, this is the cyclone here, and this is a direct thread uh, threads onto a 5 8 24 barrel. Um, and you'll notice it's a bit longer. So you got a little bit more uh, room for suppression. You got more baffles essentially uh, to remove that noise, uh, noise and flash. So really, whatever you're looking to do, they got you covered with the quick attach and the direct thread. The direct threads they're usually a little, uh, they're priced a little bit better since there's not that extra system to mount in place. And then the uh, the pistol suppressors also are, are direct thread. So really pretty cool. They Basically got you covered for <laughs> any firearm you got, pistol uh, or rifle. Awesome. And you said that uh, coming this summer, but yep. now you can buy pretty much all the other parts, the, the compensators, mm -hmm. the flash hiders, the uppers, the barrels, and uh, they even have barrels for Remington 700s. Yeah, correct. Uh, they got, uh, I believe it's an 18-inch barrel, which is uh, pretty cool. It comes pre-threaded on the muzzle. Um so really, you don't have to do... Anybody putting on a 700 barrel could thread it, but it's just a nice little step that's already done. You can go ahead and get it installed on your receiver and go from there. You don't have to worry about any other steps in the process. Uh, 700s threaded. Uh, Remington sells a few AAC versions, and they're quite popular on the market because you don't have the action producing that extra noise um, and, and, and sound. Uh, with, the, with the bolt action, you really get the most out of, out of their suppressors. Yeah, build that perfect uh, prairie dog uh, setup, right? <laughs> yeah, that's what a lot of guys do. And, and suppressors aren't just for you know being quiet and having fun at the range. Uh, you shoot prairie dogs all day. If you shoot out there shooting that uh, 223 with a shorter barrel for most of the day, even a 20 inch barrel, it gets it gets a little old after you know 500, 1,000 rounds. But throw one of these on. It's comfortable. You're protecting your hearing and everybody else's hearing. Um, and it does manage a bit of the recoil too. It takes it acts as a, a large muzzle brake. So there's multiple benefits uh, to suppressors. Uh, really worth looking into, especially if you're in a state that allows it. But unfortunately, we're not in one here in Iowa. But uh, we're more than happy to help out anybody in any, in any other state. Yeah. <laughs> right. We'll right. do our part. <laughs> All right. Well, fortunately, I don't live in a friendly state to suppressors either. Yeah, we're, we're stuck here in the Midwest, us, us <laughs> oddballs here for some reason. Yeah. But hopefully it changes someday. But uh, for now, uh, if you're in one of the 39 states, uh, we're ready to help you out. That's right. That's right. Absolutely. So I'll have direct links to these uh, in the show notes or in the bottom of this video for you to check out. Well, very, very cool. I uh, love talking uh, suppressors anytime, uh, Paul, and we'll uh, see what you have for us next week. All right. Talk to you then.